everyone it's a new next big thing podcast welcome to the show thank you for joining us a massive drug bust took place last month at the nespresso plant in ramon switzerland authorities there found about 50 million dollars worth of cocaine over 1100 pounds that's 500 kilos of cocaine was discovered in five shipping containers Now according to reports the shipment that carried Nespresso's container with the cocaine inside the Nespresso bags actually came from Brazil and passed through Antwerp ports in Belgium which is said to be the mecca of drug trafficking and distribution to the whole of Europe the port is now at the center of a huge intercontinental drug smuggling operation to speak to us about this we have with us Florence Angelisi who is the spokesperson of Customs Administration Belgium welcome to the show how are you today hi and thank you okay um <laughs> florence so um we are going to look into the intricacies of the case but first i'd like to learn more about you and your organization what does the wing do So we are the custom administration in Belgium so we are here for uh, to control goods uh, in the port of Antwerp or in other ports and airports we are uh, the custom in Europe they only control the european uh, borders because we don't have borders inside of europe anymore okay okay so um you know this is quite unprecedented now again like the events that happened in the nespresso plant so tell us what happened from your perspective and how is antwerp involved so um it's not exactly the first time that that this kind of fact happened that the, you find cocaine in a shipment that shouldn't you shouldn't find the, so what we think that happened is that uh the drug trafficker they couldn't catch the cocaine uh, on time so they had to let it go and to arrive to the wrong destination so what they do is that they use a uh, perfectly legal transportation of for example bananas or wow. coffee uh, so goods coming from south america typically mm -hmm. and they use those transportation and those containers and they put inside of it they will put uh, cocaine and but you have to have people at the port of uh, of arrival yeah. to get this cocaine from so something went wrong with the drug traffickers and they couldn't get this cocaine uh, on time wow um so i mean according to a recent uh, un report now belgium has surpassed spain as the key entry point for cocaine into europe now that's responsible for more than a quarter of the continent's coke supply Now its biggest port Antwerp is the main gateway. Now what led Antwerp to become the biggest gateway? We have uh, different reasons. Uh, there's one that is historical is that uh, we have a lot of uh, existing routes of right. uh, boats coming from South America and Central America towards uh, 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 via Antwerp with fruits. So okay. we have our terminals are ready to to get fruits. and what uh, drug traffickers do is that they use existing routes and they will bring via this legal uh, merchandise goods mm -hmm. they will bring uh, drugs there's also another reason is that antwerp is a very wide uh, port so it's yeah. it's harder to to uh, sorry to control this kind of uh, facilities uh, than other ports and we have also mm -hmm. a, a third factor is that belgium is very central in europe with many many roads yeah. so it's it's uh, easy for traffickers also to to bring their goods right right um florence last year a record of i think 90 tons of cocaine worth 13 billion pounds was found at antwerp port but it is believed to be only 10% of the drugs smuggled through the port now my question on this will be in two parts one Do you have a number on how much was seized in 2022 and second what led to a surge of these seizures So we have a uh, up to now 24 tons of uh, cocaine that has been seized oh. in 2022 so it's a bit less than last yeah. year yeah. Uh, so we have different ways of finding drug uh, I can also add that we have we also work very good that's why we also find that many cocaine yeah. 
But, uh, and the, the way we work, we have uh, um, uh, data analyzing. Uh -huh. So we have always a declaration and we will use several factors of this declaration to choose which co container we will control. Yeah. We have also intelligence, which means we have good collaboration with yeah. other countries. We have also technology, uh, we have scanners, we have backscatter, which is another uh, technology uh, scanner. We have also a lot of expertise within our custom agent, mm -hmm. which is very important. Right. And we have also uh, dogs. The dogs are very good help also for uh, okay. to, to, yeah, to struggle against those trafficking. Oh, wow, uh, that's great. Uh, can I ask you how many custom agents are involved in Antwerp? We have uh, in, Antwerp, in Antwerp, we have 726 custom agents. So well, okay. for the whole port of Antwerp, yes. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to ask you a very covert question. Um, is there any technology available to um, deter indigenous criminals? So we have a lot of technology, using yeah. technology. We have PIN codes. We have also... Um, we have this data mining yeah. uh, and we are going towards uh, artificial intelligence, but that's for the future. Um, yeah. yeah, it's very, we have to use technology. Right. Um, um, the European Monitoring Center of Drugs and uh, Drug Addiction in their report said to strengthen capabilities for cross-border investigations and support surveillance, including um, controlled delivery options that's by enhancing cooperation between border guards customs police and other law enforcement agencies across the eu have these objectives been made sorry i'm not sure i understand the question uh, no no that's fine uh, i wanted to say that uh, there's a body called the european monitoring center of D drugs and drug addiction who basically in their report last year they had call for, um, you know, a collaboration between the border guards, customs, police, and other law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. which is across the uh, EU and also internationally. I just want to ask that, have, have this been met? Is there like a collaboration between all the forces? We, we collaborate a lot. We are, Belgium is a small country, so yeah. within Belgium we collaborate. We are custom administration, but we have good collaboration with police. We have also very good collaboration with the border country. Yeah. We have the Netherlands and France, but also with the, the countries in South America, Brazil, yeah. Colombia, Panama. We have to, to exchange intelligence. Otherwise, we can't fight this alone. That's impossible. Right, right, right. Um, Florence, my next question to you would be, you know, um, these ports are seeing large amounts of smuggled cocaine and also heroin. Now, according to a Brussels Times report last year, 10 key workers in the port of Antwerp have been arrested in connection with a major investigation into drug trafficking. Now, the 10 were all employed in important positions at the port. So on a, on a policy level, what measures are being taken to ensure that the workers remain uninfluenced so i can tell you about the custom administration yeah because sure. this kind of problem can also happen in, within our uh, agents yeah so we have a screening uh, a thorough, a thorough screening yeah. that happens every three years yeah also when we hire this personnel we also go through their that data but uh, we go deeply to see if there's any danger yeah. so we cannot uh, say that we, we can avoid this like a 100% chance, but we are not taking chance and trying to avoid this kind of problem as much as possible. Right, right. Um, also, um, I wanted to ask you about heroin. Um, you know, they say that about, um, I mean, a UN report said that 700 kgs of heroin and 80 kg of opium were seized in Afghanistan and Pakistan and they were destined for Antwerp. Now, I mean, is there any data on how much heroin has been seen so far in Antwerp? I can look for it. I don't have it right now, okay, so I that's, should that's, go back to you. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um, now, but it's yeah. sorry, but it's sure. not. It's far from as important as uh, cocaine. Cocaine. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, it's not. In, 
much less than the 90 tons we had last year. Right, right, absolutely. Um, Florence, do you think there's a need for more um, public health-based approach to solving the drug problem rather than uh, relying on tough enforcement tactics? Yeah, well, we can know that it's important to, we have to fight against the trafficking, but yeah. maybe on consumption, because we, 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 we have seizing more and more quantities. It means that more and more people are using those drugs. It remains something dangerous and yeah. healthy. So that's something, but uh, that's not really our uh, main business. Yeah. Either. But that's also something important for Belgian authorities. For sure. Right, right. But... The drugs that is coming through Antwerp is not only for Belgium. It's going yeah, all over, everywhere. spreading all over Europe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my next question to you would be: um, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime um, reported that Antwerp's port is convenient for smuggling because um, containers are processed quickly in automated terminals, which limits the options for customs officers and police officers to check containers. Um, is this has anything changed since then? Um, we we are building a, a new policy, and we want to scan hundred percent of the containers who are coming from a risky uh, country. Okay. And therefore, we are building uh, five new facilities, scanning facilities inside the terminals. Okay. So it can go much faster to control those containers, and also we will have more agents. Yeah. in order to process these new scanners. Right, right. Now, as, I mean, from a customs administration point of view, um, in in the 1980s, when um, the cocaine demand flourished in the US, now, there were crackdowns on drug barons uh, who then went to seek new markets. And as a result, I think they focused on Antwerp. So, what made Antwerp more attractive to them? Is it because of it's really yeah, please please and um, um, yeah Antwerp is a historical um, road for those boats coming from South America. Yeah, so it's not they're not uh, targeting Antwerp. Yeah, they're target targeting a way to smuggle. Yeah, their their uh, cocaine and Antwerp is very interesting for them. Yeah, but it's it's we are suffering from that, but Antwerp is very interesting port and important port uh, and working very well and very dynamic. Yeah. So they're using this kind of dynamic, but that's why we have to be very careful and uh, to to watch this kind of right. criminality. Um, you also mentioned risky countries. What are the risky countries? Well, we know that uh, most of the cocaine comes from Colombia. It's not that it's uh, from Brazil, meaning that the port of yeah. uh, departure is Brazil. Brazil. Uh, now in the top three, we have Panama, uh, we, we have Uruguay, we have many South America uh, countries. It's where the cocaine is being produced. So that's normal. It's something very logical. Right, right. Um, has the pandemic played any role uh, in the whole guarding of the port? Well, um, actually, we thought we would have less cocaine, yeah. because maybe less demand, because yeah. less parties. But we, we've seen a, a big amount of cocaine la last year and in 2020, yeah. and each year breaking a new record, which is a sad record, actually. So uh, there was no impact on the traffic. I think they even kind of tried more, thinking that maybe custom agent would work less, but it wasn't the case. We, we were right. still there. and. Uh, working to find this cocaine. Okay, okay. Uh, Florence, my final question to you would be, um, you know, the public prosecutors at the canton of Freiburg in Switzerland plan on handling the illegal import. That's the, that includes the consumer protection scare against Nespresso. Um, will the Belgian government take any action against the company since the shipment passed through Antwerp? Would you... No uh, the, I can't answer about that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That's not uh, of our jurisdiction. As custom agent, uh, I, I don't. You see wouldn't that, uh, know about this. I don't have the answer. Sorry. No, no, that's absolutely fine. I mean, it's my job <laughs> to ask difficult questions. Um, 
Well, I think I have everything that I need. And uh, thank you for listening to our conversation. Today I've been speaking with Florence and Jealousy. This is Varna for Next Big Thing.